this is the final assembly of this pitching machine you can see I've got that motor down there it's just one I had laying around it's a 1750 and it took me a while to find the I still haven't found the right combination of pulleys yet but at least I got it running okay, we have two pillar blocks one on this side then we've got our got our rub collar that's, that's rubbing against the tires in the middle pulley over here pulley there with the belt you can see the rub collar down there and then we got our ball chute it's just a piece of four inch you could probably use three inch I'm not sure but anyway this is four inch and of course they you pretty much this is where you're gonna it's gonna take a lot of a lot of setting up and trial and error to get this thing lined up and of course I'm going to use a tennis ball first just to test it but it's going to go down and it's going to pick it up and throw it through there this keeps it lined up all the way to where the tires are going to grab it and pitch it out let's fire this thing up but at least you kind of get the idea. I see I didn't build that platform big enough for this gasoline engine. That way you can take it to the park or somewhere where your kids can practice. Once you get this thing all set up. I mean, it's going to take a while. But once you get set up and you tighten everything down, it's going to be fine. Now I built this out of lumber, which is not going to last long out in the weather. So if you can build it out of metal, that's even better.